Howdy, folks. You know, thieving birds have been grabbing the attention of their peers and fans in this scene since they first got together in 2010. They do a brand of music that some might call Texas rock soul. Now, here's the story behind their album, Gold Coast. We've all been friends for a long time. Rody and I have known each other since, I guess we've all known each other since we were about 16, 17. When we got together, it was real easy chemistry, and I think everybody's got a similar sense of humor, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> good or bad. We wanted it to be different from the first album, for sure, our, our self-titled album. And we had so little time to work on that first album. Uh, we got together in September. It was three months, yeah. the first album came out three months after we started jamming. So just everything happened real fast. So when, when we went to put out Gold Coast, it was nice to have time to kind of write and build these songs together and uh, get more of a handle on the songs as a whole and have more to kind of cull through and pick from than, than just say, bam, 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 let's get these songs together, let's get an album out. Gold Coast was recorded at Panhandle House Studios with Eric Herbst, a uh, great producer, uh, really good friend, nice guy, uh, really expensive to hang out with, but mostly fun. The big sound goes back to Eric, just, just being a great producer and having a lot of good studio tricks and just knowing exactly what he's doing and being really meticulous with everything. And he's going, oh, what do you think about this tone, you know, oh, well, maybe if we do this, you know, and he's... He's gonna do whatever he wants to do anyway, but it's it's always good. He's nudging us in the right direction. <laughs> nudging us carefully in the right direction. With a chestnut hair and a golden eyes, gotta find a way to make a mind. I've gotta find a way to make a mind. Oh, don't you worry, Ryan. Everything's gonna be all right. We Brother Ryan's about a really good friend of mine. Uh, who's it was just a great guy. I never had any siblings. I was an only child, so I always felt like he was kind of like, you know, the brother I never had. Um, he had a lot of hard times, but he always kind of kept his head up and was just always a delight to be around and just kind of showed you the good and kindness in people that, that everybody has, but they're not able to access all the time. Put a ring on her finger and some gray in her hair. There are I trust these three guys with what they do because that's what they do, you know, and, and the feeling's mutual. And that's both, you know, just on the road, going to the hotel or driving or, you know, on stage or writing or playing parts. It, there's just a lot of trust and a lot of, you know, friendship that goes. It makes a lot of the things that are, I guess, would be hard for a lot of bands, makes it just really easy because it's just second nature. We've been doing it so long, too. It's yeah, we've been, we came from the rock scene, which is not, a, not as many opportunities as Absolutely. this Texas music thing that's going on. So it gives us an avenue to go and play and sustain. And we're just fortunate to have the fan base out there to just be able to make the music. So I think coming from a scene where you get paid and nothing. Or hot dogs. <laughs> or hot dogs. It's, uh, we're just very fortunate to have what we have here. It's, it's nice to, to hang out with friends and play music and not feel like it's just a business, you know, and you know, we're all just paying taxes together. It's, we can have a good time and care about each other personally and, and invest a lot into the songs because we all care about the songs equally, and each other equally, I think. Yes, brother. <laughs> yes. 